This presentation is about Nikola Tesla. First, I'm going to start off with talking a little bit about his childhood. Uh, his, he was born in, um, at that time in the Austrian Empire. And in, in the, today, it is a part of Croatia. Uh, and, but he's ethnically, uh, technically Serbian. Uh, and his uh, father, uh, father's name was Milton Tesla, and his mom's name was Juka Tesla. His father was an uh, Orthodox priest, and uh, he was he had a very specific talent that uh, he was able to memorize Serbian uh, epic poems when he was uh, when he was very young. He he also had uh, three sisters, Milka, Angelina, and Maritza and an old brother named Dane. He attended the primary school in Smiljan, which is uh, where he studied German uh, re and religion. And uh, later on, the family moved to Gospić in Lika, uh, where uh, Tesla's father worked as a priest. During his teenage years, he, uh, he attended high school as any normal child. Uh, before that, he went to middle school, and this was everything in Gospitch, but uh, he entered in high school in the higher real gymnasium um, in uh, Karlovac, which is a clo uh, city close by. Uh, the classes at that time were held in German, and uh, so he learned, he taught himself German there, and everything was basically taught in, in German. He later on uh, enrolled in the Austrian Polytechnic uh, University in Graz, uh, Austria. Uh, and he did this with a military frontier scholarship, as it was called. Um, fun fact is Tesla never missed a lecture his first year, and he, he earned the uh, highest possible uh, grade. And he passed nine exams, to be more specific. Uh, he even started a Serbian uh, cultural club and um, he later on actually received a letter of commendation from the dean uh, of the technical faculty, uh, which was sent to his father actually. Uh, and on it, it said, your son is a star of first rank. During his year in college, he started to ga gamble a lot actually. And uh, he actually gambled away a lot of his allowance and even his tuition money later. Um, he really caught a passion for gambling, and this was later to be shown when he also came, uh, moved to the United States. <clears throat> later on, he started also working uh, in Europe. Uh, once he graduated college, uh, he, um, he actually left to uh, Budapest, where he worked for a telephone ex exchange um, company. And this, uh, this company was called Tivadar Puskas, and it was sort of it was basically a telegraph company uh with the, in the Budapest telephone exchange um he when he came there he realized that the company was not uh, specifically functional um and after just a few months of tesla being there he he basically turned around the company and made it made it functional and uh, he actually got the position of chief elect electrician p p position or how it was called. Uh, he, he basically made a lot of improve, improvement to the central uh, station equipment. And he actually claimed he perfected uh, like a telephone repeater or amplifier, we might call it. But this was actually never patented or it was not even public. Um, Later on, he started working for Edison. And this was not actually in the United States. He uh he moved to Paris after working in Budapest, and he got the um uh an offer to work at um, the Continental Edison Company, which where they had an office in uh, uh, Societe Electrique Edison. And this was sort of a uh, division of Edison's company where he he was basically uh, working on uh, lighting system. He got a lot of experience here, uh, especially in electrical engineering, and this is something that the management noticed. 
And he, the management also sent him to troubleshoot uh, like engineering pro- problems that other uh, Edison facility, f- facilities had, uh, which were either around France or in Germany. After this experience, he moved to the U.S. Uh, he started working for Edison there too. And there's specifically uh, one statement that is known, and that was that he was he was offered a fifty thousand dollar bonus um, if he could uh, design twenty four different types of machines, which was basically a project he gave to Tesla, and Tesla managed to solve this, but Edison later described it to him as a practical joke basically and he he told he told him in these words tesla you don't understand our american humor and this is sort of what sort of started there is a numerous amount of shows that it's also been made about the rivalry between tesla and edison it's sort of here i believe that um, everything sort of started tesla electric after the sort of incident and everything that the his work at Edison he started he started up his own company basically and he, it was Tesla Electric. Um, he was working on uh, patterning an arc lightning system, which was very uh, basically the same thing he developed at the Edison's company. He tried to find lawyers and he tried to find basic ways to find a way to patent this. Um, this sort of invention or uh, technology. Uh, he during the years he did worked on this, and he even improved made a patent for um, <clears throat> a DC generator. And this these were actually one of the first patents that were issued to Tesla, in the United States, and um, he also worked on building and installing the the new system in uh, Rahway, New Jersey. And uh, he, that's where he sort of gained notice and he really improved that system a lot. But something that bothered Tesla still was that not many investors and people were interested in Tesla's idea of uh, alternating current, which he believed was the future. And he had n- numerous like... Um, experiments and things done where he showed that it was not dangerous at all. Uh, Edison tried to counter this by setting up his own own experience where he would basically bring this dog or any kind of animal and kill it with an in, insane amount of voltage that would uh, that would show that alternating current was um, was dangerous, but this was not true. And te- Tesla did actually an experiment where he, which is probably one of the, the most famous pictures where, where he stands uh, between this alternating current where he shows that it's actually not dangerous t- uh, to a human. George Westinghouse is a person that sort of was later on became sort of close to. Uh, Tesla and because he was the one that Tesla partnered with later on to basically start this electrical war against uh, against Edison and he that's where he started to improve the alternating current system and this is basically where everything started to go well you could say for Tesla where he where he even hired Westing, Westinghouse even hired Tesla for a year for a very large fee to um, to consult Westinghouse uh, own company which is called Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company in and this was in Pittsburgh so he worked there for uh, trying to find ways to implement the AC system and just trying to uh, basically perfect and improve that system so that it could be commercially used Tesla had a lot of inventions and <clears throat> and one of them that sort of st- not stands out but that was kind of interesting is actually that he invented the what you would call the RC uh, radio controlled uh, objects or things like rem- remotes for example your um, 
your helicopter drone or whatever it is he invented the first so called uh, this little boat that was sort of a toy where he could control it over radio uh, its movements and this was at that time was seen as something pretty amazing but also maybe not as useful as it turned later on to be today where RC is pretty much everywhere with remotes uh, car keys and uh, all kinds of equipment that uses uh, RC. He also worked a lot on wireless power and this was sort of his big dream that he had where he believed that we could that he could make uh, <clears throat> uh, these sort of parabolas or discs that you could put out just on your balcony or on the house that would basically connect you to electricity and wirelessly transfer electricity no wires just wirelessly basically through through the air and this was really new and a lot of it caught a lot of interest but one problem that was that it was not you could not measure at the time you could not measure how to earn money on this since it was really just electricity transferred through mid like through thin air and he demonstrated this specifically where because it was sort of through the ground where he would call, have this warning cliff tower which he was working on where he could transmit basically a hundred yards or whatever the distance was he would put put out just light bulbs in the ground where he could um, he could show that electricity would without any wires travel through the ground and through him holding a light bulb and there is a very f uh, famous il illustration of this and uh, and picture another sort of fun fact is with patents where Tesla actually had once he died he he had or he had uh, accumulated around 300 patents which is sort of amazing to think of that a person had probably 300 diff different inventions that he sort of considered possible even though probably most of them did not uh, reach any commercial use it's still in a very big number talking about habits is something else that was sort of stood out about Tesla he he claimed to just sleep two hours a day and that he did this most of his life and a lot of journalists, especially one per, a person he was close to, confirmed this, and a lot of other people too confirmed that he actually slept very, very little. Even even though he said that he sometimes would take small, short naps during the day, uh, just because he basically couldn't stay awake. And this is sort of connected to working habits, where he would almost work all day and all night. He would sleep very little, as I said and his work was basically his entire life the same thing goes with the relationships uh, he did not have a lot of romances or any kind of relationships there was one person that he was sort of close to but he, he never found any real interest in in, in her and um, it never really turned out to meant anything and tesla basically went through his entire life without having any sort of romantic relationship. He la later on died and this was um, this was actually in New York and it happened at the New Yorker Hotel. Um, <clears throat> this was at um, age of 86 on January 7th 1943. He died alone in room 3327. And it was a very sad day for a lot of people. And his it turned out he died um, uh, due to coronary uh, thrombosis, which was what it was called. And this was basically the end of his life. And a lot of people were sad and... It is, especially in Serbia to this day, there is even the Tesla Museum. And a lot of people remember all all the things he contributed to life. Even after his death, he's probably considered one of the most genius persons 
ever that ever lived on earth.